Hi everyone, welcome back to a very special episode of XCOM. There's a new UFO crash site, a very special one indeed. Uh, the hyperwave relay gives me a bunch of interesting information, so we have to meet what's called an ethereal. And so this time we're not gonna go uh, like dick around, where it's serious time. It's time to get back our titan armor. So that actually gives us a bit more health and it gives us immunity to poison. Um, and it, it's the plus four health is actually pretty good. I would actually say these guys are mostly not really going to cloak and just kind of run. well you know what actually no 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 you know what I just changed my mind fuck it ghost armor all the way Mr. Shiv would be proud all right instead of an alien grenade for her um, let's go back to scope since we just got our squad sight ability I uh, will be okay and we're also gonna we're, we're still farming with her so we'll be okay uh, and both my heavies and we got two arc throwers and med kits and all that kind of shit so you know um so i didn't forget to equip plasma weapons or something nope okay we're good this may be our hardest mission yet enemy is still unknown as the as the title of the game implies i don't know why they always go to america wait is that like Strike one. oh they're in california we're going to be putting down in mexico for this mission it looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. I certainly hope they do. It is Mexico after all. There's a lot of tourists around. But you know, let's go land the Sky Ranger and uh, have a look around. Even though, you know, I have that Archangel armor, but I, I'm still a big fan of the Ghost. Plus, you know, I, I have some opportunities for fun shit, you know. They've been protecting this ship with their most advanced technology. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. Alright, Mr. Shiv, lead the way. No contacts. Alright. Well, we're gonna go and we're gonna bring everybody into positions to help cover Mr. Shiv. You know what the great thing is, since I'm only using one move kind of a thing like this, you know, if I fuck up in any way, uh, it's really easy for me to, uh, let's hunker and hunker. It's really easy for me just to cloak in my next turn if something goes wrong, which is kind of the nice thing about Ghost Armor. But you know, as I say, it's the, it's a credibility that I'm, I'm actually mostly concerned about. Okay, so he can kind of go up here. How big is this map are we talking about? Holy shit, look at this. I could dash all the way out to shit I, I can't even see. Because he has the three movement bonus. And then another three movement bonus from having ghost armor. <laughs> uh, this, this shit's fun. I am slightly concerned right now. Alright, well... Let's see, Mr. Colon doesn't get uh, any any uh, bonuses yet to uh, to defense, so I'm actually inclined to kind of move him up there. Uh-oh, we hear contacts. Oh shit. What the hell is that? What? Where are they? It's all the way up there. I think it just happens like every mission now. It's just kind of like whatever. You want to play XCOM? Fuck you. Deal with bugs. This is a really big UFO crash site. And I, like I can't make I can't make for sure moves because like I don't know how far up he is. Uh. So that's where I'd actually want to get my snipers, right up here. Actually, you know what? We ha we still have the cloak. Let's cloak him and put him up here. I mean, that's This is why I have it on these snipers. Because, you know, as I said, I'm worried about line of sight issues. This solves that. And it also gives me a bit of a forward scouting with the sniper. And I think we're gonna just kind of roll down here. 
Just make sure all our snipers are in position. And we hear nothing. All right. Well, you're revealed now, but that's that's perfectly fine by me. All right, let's go as far as we can up here. We have contact, and it's uh, two drones. Seems to be someone lacking in the uh, in the offense department. All right, uh, we can't actually see any of them. We've got an eighty percent chance to hit on one of them, though. Uh, what the hell? Why do I see this thing? It's all glowy. I don't have a whole lot of options here. I can just dash up here, though. That sounds good to me. And I, I'm not allowed to fire now, either. Shooting is against the rules. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, just 80%. Alright, it just went right through him, because that's apparently what these guns do. Uh, uh, let's go up here. Look at that. Two squad sites. We're gonna hunker, though. We can get one of them. So it, it's probably just like a cyber disc or some shit up there. You know, that's really not too concerning, to be honest. Uh, where should I move this guy, though? We're gonna move him up here. And Volkov is kind of just gonna... Well, actually, you know what? We can just uh, kind of get a... Actually, this should be my my opening move, now that I think about it. But, you know, it's kind of nice to see what's up there. Yeah, there's the, your... Oh, wait, that's a sectopod! Not a cyber disc! I just... I peed myself just a little. Oh god, he's behind that thing. Oh boy. Oh, what? You panicked? <laughs> no, that was not panic, that was bloodlust. <laughs> oh, okay, so. <laughs> it's like, how dare you shoot me? Alright, so we have a couple of options here. We have a, a rocket, and we already know where he is. Like, there's not many opportunities. Look at this fucking curve, like, the fucking curve the bullet shit going on. Alright, we already know he's here, so, you know, this is, like, pretty much a guaranteed head. And we have lots of rockets, so... This will weaken him, hopefully remove the cover, giving me line of sight. Oh, here we go. He's got, ooh, He's got 12 HP left. Let's... Let's shoot him... What? I wanted to... I wanted to kill him with fucking my other guy. Oh, it's a 15 critical, so when it goes up to fucking... What, if it goes up to 10, it doesn't actually mean with the critical. I, I just assumed naturally that meant the critical as well. Alright, well, we'll just wait a turn. I'm a little mad now. Yeah, I did that I did that last time too, when it came down to... Um, uh, when it came down to me and... Uh, I forgot who... Uh, it was, oh, me, me and the, uh, uh, like a sectoid commander, and I'm just like, well, I don't know what the fuck to do, and so it just, uh, fucking killed him in one hit. Which made me very, really upset. Alright, Mr. Colin, then. Come on down. Oh, wait, is that Volkov? I think I moved up Volkov. It just occurred to me, which I kind of didn't want to do. Yeah, it is Volkov. What was I thinking? Alright. Well, it would appear that they're, like, right there anyways, so. Uh, this is... Uh, I For some reason, this is half cover. I actually didn't expect that. Okay, we're not gonna move up too far, so I'd rather, like, my heavy go over right here. And, oh god, contact! No. Nothing here. Well, I guess we're just gonna, like, move right behind them. I don't really see a point in getting Volkov yet. Oh, uh, sectopods are scary shit because, you know, they'll, uh, as we learned is uh, from the last mission, the amount of damage you do on a critical for the sectopods, they'll, they'll one-hit my guys, despite being full level and all that kind of shit. 
it won't matter. Uh, here we go. Mutton elites. Okay. We have an opportunity to break his cover potentially, so let's do that. Because we're not going to do anything else with this shroud. What? It did damage? Oh, right. That's a ability I have. Damn it to hell. Alright, how far can I throw a grenade? You know... I don't think I have many opportunities for, uh... To, to return fire or anything. I'll let shoot him. Yeah, fantastic hit. That's some really good defense he has there. Actually, you know, I'm actually kind of. You know what we could do? We could do this. Watch us. We can actually see what why he's so hard to hit. So my chance to crit and the plus the weapon makes it like 35. He is suppressed. Uh, my chance to hit is it's 65 by default. The aim and the scope make it good. Low cover. What does that even mean? Is my cover not high enough? Is that why my bonus isn't that high? I don't know what it means by low cover. So the, the, the thing is he has low cover apparently and that makes it so it's harder for him to hit, for me to hit him. And his defense is pretty high so, and that's because he's behind a cover like that. Maybe I should get close enough to go try and mind fray him. Nah, I should just snipe him. Alright, Mr. Shiv. Hopefully he won't die. Yeah, no one has really good shots today. Oh dear god, that's terrible. Oh yes, I have drone hack now. Hooray. I forgot about that. I could use that. Okay, uh, good opportunities are not presenting themselves, so we're gonna just... We're gonna take some really dumb sh- I wonder, can I suppress him twice? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, it's, it's really not any better, but that's fine. Oh, okay, I hit him a little bit more. But he'd be really dumb to move at this point. No, he's gonna chuck a grenade at that guy. And he's gonna hightail it out of there. Or no. I kinda wanna get a good shot on him. It's 38 though. 38 is not gonna work. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, just to give my sniper an easy opportunity. Uh, well, not, not with him, hopefully. I don't know why they grenaded just the one guy. It's kind of weird. Alright, we're gonna move him here. Okay, and we're gonna just... We're very carefully going to make this grenade not actually hit him, but hit his cover. It's gonna be an epic grenade. Oh, look at that. That was excellent. Okay. Now, my sniper is set up with the hardest shot, apparently, ever. Why? Why is that a really difficult shot? Because your aim sucks. Uh, the, so you can suppress or bombard me. He's exposed, but it doesn't actually count. It doesn't count as like a flank shot or anything. It's, I find kind of weird. Well, you know, we have to take it, so. Yeah. You know, you play the odds. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Of course, Volkov has a is much better at aiming, so that kills his. Ah, uh, that's sad. Sad and horrifying. Oh God, what have I done? Well, this is a terrible fucking position to be in. So that's why we're gonna cloak. Because that's 
After all, why you put in fucking cloak on? Uh, so I'm going to be inclined to actually go right here. <laughs> Might as well. All right. Uh, we have we have we have a lot of ghosts, so let's let's do some ghosting. They're not even going to know what hit them. Uh, if the aliens have reserved this cloaking technology specifically to hide this ship, we can only assume it is carrying something extremely valuable. Or very dangerous. Yeah, we're the only ones who can have fucking cloak cloaking technology. Only we can use that word. Oh wait, what? Oh fucking hell! Where did you come from? Uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah, I'm starting to see why this shit's probably a bad idea. Oh god, he's right behind us. Oh, this this fucker has to go down. It doesn't even matter at this point. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I don't even care about the new tunnel leads. Okay. Uh, I, I would be silly not to actually give him the chance to actually get a good shot off on him. And he did it. You, you are both an amazing gentleman and a scholar. Alright. Okay, so these guys are kind of in a weird place. Okay, we do have one rocket here. Let's see what my opportunities are. Okay. Oh boy. Well, I bring myself into these weird positions all the time, it seems. Okay, so we rocket these two. I like having two heavies. That solves one problem. We got 100%, 80, 85. Let's see if these guys can actually handle them first. Uh, well, let's go and... We can just pistol them, you know. Well. Yeah, you know what? This, ha this confers an aim bonus. It's actually a higher chance to hit when I actually use my revolver thingy, Bob. Alright, uh... Nope, we only get a shot off with that one. Okay, Volkov does have a shot. Uh, here's the problem. The thing with this one is he's on Overwatch, I'm pretty sure at this point. My other option, I want to kind of shoot him, but I don't want to shoot him. It's kind of the, the risk you take, because I can't move in my next turn. Which means I should probably just kind of dash someone to to draw his fire, perhaps. Actually, you know what, let's... You know, a better idea, actually, is to... It's... It, they're just drones. What are they going to do to me? They, 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 they crit for nothing. Uh, this is the other problem I have. He's got a lot of health, and he looks pretty mean. I don't have many turns left either. Alright, let's see what we can do when we get all the way up here. Alright, well, hopefully that will do something. No, that will not. Okay. I wonder if I can actually cloak him during this turn. Oh, I can. No, I can't. You have to do it. You have to do it before he ends his turn. So that's terrible. Okay, so I have a couple of opportunities: kill this guy, or kill these two. I'm more inclined to kill that guy. All right. Well, now we see what they what they do, and he's just gonna fuck off. Okay. Wait, wait, someone got criticaled? Oh, no, no, that was my own guy. 
Oh no, not Volkov. Oh god. You see, that's that's why I'm really not concerned. Do we even get a Muton Elite? Oh god, no! No, Mr. Shiv, you fuck! Oh, we have a bit of a problem. Well, let's go kill him. Okay, let me kill... 78 or 78. No, I probably should move Mr. Sh uh, the bolt top actually, because he's just gonna get hit again by the other guy. All right, well, where's my XXX snipes? It's not my medic. He's my medic, so we're just gonna go right up to Mr. Shiv and actually just go revive him. That's sad, but you know. That he seems to go down really, really easily, too. Alright, let's just go and, uh, hunker people down. I don't- I don't wanna- I don't wanna kill the last one, I wanna capture him. Cause that sounds like fun. Okay. So. Um. Triple strike. Uh, he could probably just run right up here with his cloak. That sounds fun. It's a good thing Mr. Shiv didn't die. I'll just go right here. Alright, Mr. Shiv, heal yourself when you get over here, though. No, heal yourself, not your, not him. He doesn't need the health. There you go. That's how you do it. See, and the thing is, it probably would have helped to have the Titan armor in that case. Actually, I kind of wanted to just hunker them down. Yeah, that'll be okay. Oh, <laughs> what? He ended up right beside him. Oh no! Don't don't flee. He's worried. Where's the other guy? Why can't we? Yeah, okay. Now you're revealed. Thank you. There we go. And we can do, we can actually just hop right into there and then stun him. Cool. All right. Where, what's it's drone hack. Let's try it. Yay! And what's it? What does he even do? So he got he has overload, which is um, you you overload him, but it causing an explosive damage to move through grenades. So it's like a, it's it's like a shiv. Well, you know, you should maybe introduce yourself to Mr. Shiv. I, I hear he likes Shiv-like things. Well, I guess everyone should kind of move up now. It's even up for debate if I want to actually, like, heal everybody, but, you know, because it, it might actually get worse. You simply don't know at this point. Alright. Well. The old team is reunited. Once more. Uh, I guess not much else to do, but, you know, just watch that be, like, the last guy on my team somehow. Like, like, everyone's gonna die on this team, and it's just like, you could do it, fucking drone. We love you, Mr. Drone. So he'll move. Oh, we can toggle flight, too, so he can fly. Okay, you scout ahead. So we could we can now move him kind of wherever. We can kind of like, just go like, oh look, okay, we're right here. Okay, we have, we have aerial support now. Our UAV is online. <laughs> hey, it's time to post commentary, so no more 90s TV show themes and... I don't know what the hell else I was doing, speeding up songs. In some of the last episodes. Mostly because I recorded those late at night and then like I was done and then I'm like... You know, these only lasted for like 30 seconds, so I might as well just... Put some shit over it and some music and whatever and that's it. Yeah, I'm not I'm lazy, what can I say? But now I'm actually doing commentary, so they're, they're in the middle room there. So I'm actually going over what my plan will be. That is, I wanna... The, the reason I actually equipped Psy Armor is because I really wanted to do what I'm about to do here. Which is, I'm going to just... Uh, so not Psy Armor, um, Ghost Armor. 
And the whole reason you have something like ghost armor is you uh, basically cloak everyone. And this takes like a good couple of seconds uh, because it does this stupid ass cutscene. And I'm wondering if I can speed it up by pressing some sort of button, but I couldn't see anything. So um, unfortunately, that's not the case. So let's go see what's inside that room, shall we? Huh. This is unlike anything else we've previously identified. Based on its physical appearance, I would assume this alien doesn't rely on brute strength. I recommend the troops exercise extreme caution, Commander. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. Commander, that device, it seems to be of great importance to them. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. This is gonna go terribly. I... I know it. But you know you know you guys love it. <laughs> it's like why did that door open by itself? Huh, well you know, let's just ignore it. It's like a little bit of a draft coming in. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Hey, wh whoever said ghost armor wasn't fun doesn't know how to have fun. What? What the hell? What the fuck? Game? Uh, yeah, let's just let's just hope they they fucking glitch back into this room, okay? What the fuck? <laughs> they can't just leave the room while I'm in it. It's against the rules. Are you fucking kidding me? I did this whole fucking breach for nothing. Fucking game. Really? They teleport out of the room I have them surrounded in. You know, fuck you. Just, just fuck off. <laughs> I've had enough of this game's shit. Just, just go fucking curve the bullet. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> cover is gone, cover is gone! Oh god. Alright, wait, okay, so we know it's like 15 damage to, to shoot that thing. Holy shit, 17? Your fucking chance to hit sucks! Can I like mind fray any of them? Oh my god. Wait, how much damage does it do? Oh, you know, that's kind of worth it actually. Oh, sure, let's do that then. Fucking mind bullets on you. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we can get 10 damage and no critical chance on him. Let's kill this one first. Oh, come on, please. Oh, damn it. He has that rift ability, too. I had forgotten all about that. Come over here and distract him. Alright, can we get a shot off by chance? I don't want to take the sniper shot. I want to take a pistol shot. Oh, you didn't fucking just use your mind attack on him. Oh god. What do we do? Alright. Let's go bring two guys over here. Okay, these are really threatening guys. Um, I haven't judged that by the fact I'm fucking freaking out here. Please don't shoot back at me. Okay, it's um, it is worthwhile to try and stun him right now, even at a 49% chance. It's a failure. Okay. 
Oh god, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oh god, you're gonna kill someone, aren't you? What the fuck? Don't, don't fucking shoot him, don't! Oh no, good, okay, you've only panicked. Alright, uh... Try this one. Wait, that does... Okay, good, 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 good. Leave that the way it is. You better fucking stun him, because we, we don't have time for this shit, okay? 95. Yes! Yes, thank you. Fortunately, he's gonna be in med bay for a while. Another day, another successful operation. We didn't lose him, but you know. Still, that could have gone better. And you know what? I fucking blame this game's glitches for that, okay? That was bullshit. They moved out of the room when I had, like, the perfect fucking, like, f fucking surround on them, too. XCOM. It's such a great game, too. It's just like, it's just like, one glitch. This constantly, this, this teleporting glitch. You know? It'd be, like, ten times better. Oh, well. Well, we got an ethereal now. Ethereal, go home. Oh, by the way, everyone died. That's why Dylan's here. Recovered from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? An object of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. A dangerous sentiment, Doctor. Sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. new objective. Everybody's wounded. Hopefully we don't get another mission. Uh, so we have Gunslinger, Damn Good Grant. Once again, Gunslinger is the thing that I choose. Nickna er, nickname Shadow. So Mr. Colin, you're Shadow. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experimentation versus the expired specimens. Alright, let's go see what Ethereals and what makes them tick. Uh, he was not going down without a fight. And we got all research, all technology research earned, which is kind of nice. And now we can do the autopsy because we've clearly killed him. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy, and for good reason. As you've probably seen, its physical form is not suited for combat by any means. However, these elders have an incredible pool of psionic energy at their disposal. Which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. Alright, we got a mind shield now available for uh, manufacturing. So, uh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, let's go research the ethereal I device. I accept the fact that there could be risks involved in studying this new alien device. 
But the enemy leaves us with no other choice. This is the woman who cuts them up and We're doesn't give a shit. Wire here. Now that we've backed the aliens into a corner, I think we'll see what they're really made of. Personally, I expect nothing short of pure desperation in their resistance. They've invested too much to go down without a fight. Yeah, you know, I don't really get that because they're attacking us. Like, yeah, I, I don't understand. Okay, let me get the. Let me just finish up with the um, uh, workshops. Workshop online. Uh. Additional workshop online. Yeah, we have to wait. We have to wait for each one. Online. Additional workshop online. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Might as well make more firestorms, I figure. Alright. And uh, I guess scan for activity. Oh, research complete. Okay. Uh, so now we have the uh, the gullop chamber is now available for construction. So, uh, you know, interesting shit. Interesting research. Uh, and now it's just pretty much whatever I want to do. Oh, I can make Psy armor. Might as well. That's the last tier of armor, and it's it's honestly that. We need to start working on the yeah. housing for this device as soon as possible. Considering what we went through to get it, we should be making every effort to provide a secure location for its storage. Well, that solves that. And now, <laughs> XCOM is totally uh, taken up by all this shit. So, you know, I could destroy these two workshops if I really need something else. But at this point, I don't. Well, I can also destroy this. I don't really fucking need that. Actually, I probably should have removed it in the first place to put it there. I don't know. I, it, it's not necessary, though. Like, what's it, what am I gonna really put here at this point that I need nothing? This is like endgame shit right here. In fact, like, for the most part, like, it's just that... You, you notice how Mr. Shiv now is actually panicking more, and that's because his will is so stupidly low now. Because he's gone down, like, like three times or something. Like, already as it is, um... Her will is 61, opposed to uh, Dan's is, is 73, and she, she's not even, she still has like three levels, three or four levels to go, right? So that's why I'm kind of waiting for psionic testing to complete and some other shit, so. You know, I'm trying to get some people replaced. So, okay, Psy Armor is complete. We can now make Psy Armor, which is more protective against uh, psionic attacks, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's only a day for that, and you know, whatever. Guess I'll do. Let's do light plasma rifles, sure. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> so now we can use the light plasma rifles we have. I don't really see us ever using it, though. You know, we can just, just for fun, we can just research this stuff. As I said, I don't really care. Yeah, yeah, yeah plasma cannon research. And so, uh, it's an anti UFO weapon. All right. There you go, and that's it. I think that does it for research. We can make a laser shiv project and laser cannon and... Holy shit. Everything is now here. And that's it. No more research projects. I think you get some still if you still do a bit of uh, stuff, but whatever. Okay, and everyone luckily came came out of uh, for active duty. Fucking, seriously, you guys don't have any gifts? God damn it, people. Like, I need someone to replace my support. Like, Mr. Shiv uh, is not that gifted. Uh, fuck. I'm running out of people, too. Uh, all I have right now are snipers and supports. And assaults. And I don't know about using assaults. Um, heavies are way too useful. Uh, seriously, nobody here has the gift? This guy's a sniper and fucking... Okay, we need more people then. Hey, look at who we're hiring. Fucking might as well. 30 people. Let's get him. Alright. Uh, they want four plasma pistols and we have five. But we get a shit ton of money for that, so, you know, we'll make like four. Because how much do they really cost me at this point? Plus pistols are dirt cheap to me, and they're gonna give me a shit ton of money, which I don't really need. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just see how rich I can get. 
Yeah, dispatch it. Yeah. And yeah, we got like a lot more money now. Okay. Well, we got some more soldiers, and let's see who else we can add to the, the roster here. Okay, so we have Big Eared Kittens, Marie Hain, uh, Vino Gradov, Vor. I don't even. I can't pronounce half your names. Justin 11111, uh, Huntrero, Huntrero, whatever. Uh, Gaba, Emancipated, Mela, Malik Hova, uh, EMP Nader, uh, Crimson Dy Dynamo, uh, Tringent, Kilo Kilobyte Virus, Marn, and Bamhiko, who I know. I know. He's, he's already, he's already in the fucking, I, I know who he is. He's, he, he joins my streams a lot. Um, I think the rest of these guys, I don't know if they're Priestley, Razor, the Razor, Deadly Ice, uh, John Matrix, Shirley, Trex Master. Yeah, okay, I think that's everybody, everybody knew. So, we're gonna get, uh, let's see, we'll get, let's see if Deadly Ice is, uh, has the gift too. Or actually, maybe not, because I want to get a heavy in there, because I want to replace the heavy as well. Well, I, I would at least want to come out of this. With a heavy and a support replace, so that's uh, that's why I'm looking for people with a gift. And if you don't have the gift, well, I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do? Commander, we just received a priority one request from the council. Well, it looks like we have to do uh, a target extraction mission for some panic reduction, some scientists, and uh, some rewards. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Glad to see everyone's out of sick bay because of that horrible Supply last mission. Facilities at maximum capacity. I'm surprised that. Additional uplink required. Now I don't know what the hell this means, but I'm surprised that like there everybody isn't just panicking because there's a giant fucking thing in the in the pla in the middle of the planet. But anyways, I think that's it for now. Uh, and remember, we will be watching.